Hello children, in this video, we are going to practice a very ancient topic of English grammar that is articles. There are three articles like a, an, and the. They are divided into two categories. First is definite article which is the and the other indefinite articles which are a and an. Indefinite articles a and an are used with singular countable nouns. The thing which is single and can be counted. So they are used with they are used with Single countable nouns, countable nouns, when we talk about them in general. Okay, so first we will see where to use the article and. Yes, children. So to know the use of article and, we should also know the words and their sounds. So let us see what are the words. Words are a. E, I, O, and U. We'll be focusing on them, okay, and their sounds. So, first example, if you take, is like uh, apple. Apple is feeling with a word and having the sound of word itself. A apple A okay so we'll be putting an before it. Similarly, if I write elephant, elephant is beginning with T, which is a boy, and having the sound of boy itself, E elephant. Okay, so we'll be putting an. Clear? Next, uh, now I'm going to write R. Okay, so R is beginning with H, and H is a consonant. But when we pronounce this word, H is no name, we pronounce it uh, like R. So, H is silent. The pronunciation is beginning with O and we are pronouncing it as R and having the sound of a R. Okay? So, when we put in R before it, just because we have to focus on the word sounds, not on the words. Okay? Another example? Okay. Now I am going to write eagle. Okay. Eagle. Eagle is beginning with a word. When we see here, we see that it is there in the word category. This is a word. And when we pronounce this word, eagle, it's having the sound of e, eagle, which is very much clear. So Undoubtedly, we'll be putting an before it. Children, I'm going to take an other example of M L A. Member of Legislative Assembly. When you pronounce this, you say M L A. M L A. A. M. M. Coming later, but firstly, 
Let me pronounce. What sounds comes? That is A. M L A. M L A. Having the sound of A at the very beginning, which is a vowel, we will be putting M in it. Clear? Now let us see where to use a. We'll be using a with consonant sounds, not with the consonants. We'll be using before the words, before the nouns, which are beginning with consonant sounds. Let us take first example. I'm writing here parrot. Parrot is beginning with P, which is a consonant. And when you pronounce this word, parrot, again, P, P, sound of consonant, no doubt, put a word. Going to take other example. Other example, okay. European. Now, this word is beginning with a vowel, which is E. But when we pronounce this word, it is pronounced as European. European is pronounced, which is having the sound of consonant. Because E is the sound of the consonant Y. Clear? So, this word will be taking a before it. This noun will be taking a before it. Why? Because of having the sound of consonant at the very beginning of its pronunciation. Okay. Other examples? Uh, okay. If I'm going to write here chair. Chair. Chair is beginning with a consonant which is C. C is a consonant. Is it there in the this list of what? No, there are five words only. And C belongs to consonants. So C having the sound. C is having the sound. You may see that some of the words are having k, crow, right? Cow, k, chair, ch having H with it, right? So, C is consonant and the word is beginning with a consonant sound also. Okay, we'll be putting a before it. I hope, children, you are very clear with the use of an and a. We have to focus on the vowels and consonant sounds. Not on the words and consonants. So let's practice the use of definite article the. I have jotted down some points. With the help of these, you will be able to understand its use very easily. The first point says this article is used with some particular nouns that are already referred to. Means when we talk about these. Objects, they are themselves clearly indicated. Such as if I say the sun, clearly indicated. So in such cases, we'll be using the. Next one says when the speaker and the listener both know which thing is being talked about. Means if I'm speaking something. I'm speaking about some things, some object, something, and I'm speaking to you. I know that what is the thing I'm talking about. And if you also clearly know that this is the particular thing about which I'm saying something. So, in this condition, we'll be using the before that particular uh, object. Let's take an example. Uh, the man standing 
under that tree is my friend. I'm telling this thing to you. And you can also see that particular man. So you will also be very much clear that not all the men, that particular man who is standing under that tree and that particular tree which I am indicating too. Okay, so in such cases we use the before these nouns. Yes, clear? Next point says names of oceans, seas and rivers. Take an example like the Ganga only one in the world so we will, it will carry the before it okay same as the Pacific Ocean the Pacific Ocean It will also carry the before it. Okay. Next one says names of canals and deserts. Canals, you know, okay. So names of canals and uh, small water bodies and deserts. Sahara Desert. Thar. Only one in the world. Okay. So and very particular things. Okay. Whenever you talk, so we use the before these things also. Example, uh, it, okay, it will be the Thar Desert, the Thar Desert. We use definite article the with the names of mountain ranges also because they are also very special. Okay, like the Himalayas. There are two reasons. One thing, Himalaya is not just one mountain. It's a mountain range. Carrying number of mountains in it. Okay. Second reason, it's very much particularly known all over the Clear. So we use and you know that whenever the thing is clear to other person and everybody is, we use the. Okay. And uh, when something is collectively made. Okay. So in that case also we use this article. Next point says names of epic books and unique nature objects. Now, what are the epic books? Epic. Epic books which are long. So, long uh, story you see in these. Okay. In these books, they carry such a long story and heroic uh, character. Which is identical. Character which is identical. Not many things you can learn from these books. Okay. So, these books and unique nature objects. Unique nature objects, the sky. Okay, so in these things also, we use the before them. Okay, let's uh, the exact first example I would like to write here is the Ramayana. Epic book. Number of lessons. Each line of this book gives you a lesson. Right? And heroic. Okay. A heroic, I should say, like, um, which is the character, which is worshipped as God. Lord Rama. Okay. So, we use the before these things also. Next one says, with superlatives and ordinals. Superlatives, 
like superlative degree of adjective like tall, taller, tallest, big, bigger, biggest. Okay, so superlative degrees, they carry the before them. The best, the worst, the tallest, the smallest. Okay, ordinals, ordinals, you know, first, second, third, fourth. Okay, before these ordinals also we use the. I would like to uh, take an example. The second boy in the row. Okay, so that particular row which I am talking about. So, uh, the boy who is second in the row. Okay, and uh, other example of superlatives. The best mom, the best mom, everyone says my mom is the best, okay, why, because you love your mom, the most, okay, okay, so uh, the second boy, ordinal, second here, and the best mom, superlative. Whenever uh, in your next chapter, you'll be uh, reading adjectives. So always keep this thing in mind that whenever you are going to use superlative degree, you will be putting the before them. Clear? Okay, next point says names of musical instruments and newspapers. Musical instruments. The harmonium. The flute. Okay. Newspapers. You read daily and those who do not read, start reading. Okay, so newspapers such as the Times of India, the Hindustan Times, you know, all these newspapers begin with the article, the definite article, the, because they are also particularly indicated. Not all the newspapers are same, they are particularly special, right? So we use the let us take an example. I would like to write here the Hindustan Times. The Hindustan Times. Okay. Next is names of well known buildings. Yes, children. Very well known uh, buildings, monuments, they also carry definite article the before them such as the red fort okay the red fort the taj mahal why the taj mahal right very special very special in the world clearly indicated whenever you talk about that clearly indicated that this is the thing you are talking about. Same as when you talk, when you say red fort, clearly indicated in the world. Okay, done. Now, I would like to um, add on something. Like, we also use the with few words. There are some words with which we always use um, this definite article, the. These words are like next. You say the next. Okay. You don't say next. You say the next is. Okay. Uh, uh, first. First uh, also, you know, also comes under the category of ordinals also. So you definitely be using uh, uh, the before it in, because it will be uh, clearly, uh, it will be clearly, uh, I mean, uh, known to everybody. Like it's an ordinal, so we'll be using the before it. And this particular word first, always you have to use the before it. Okay. When you say only, the one and only. Okay. These are the words 
before which you use the. So I would like to mention these words also. With some words like next, first, last, only. We always use definite article form. After all these points, one thing is very common. That whenever you are talking about something which is clearly known to others and which is clearly indicated in talks, in sentences, when you are writing in sentences. If you are writing, so whatever the thing you are writing, if it is very clear, very much clearly indicated that this particular noun is being talked about, so we will be using, we will be putting this definite article the. Clear? Now I would like to uh, tell you about some cases in which we do not use any article. Okay? Okay children, so now we are going to see some conditions in which we do not use any article. Okay? So the first thing uh, in which we do not use any article like we do not use we do not use uh, any article with some proper nouns let's see with some proper nouns what are they these are the uh, names of countries you will immediately say that uh, we do not use the with all the countries but why the united states right the uh, great britain okay the united kingdom See, there are some reasons. First thing is that, like India is only one country. We do not need to specifically indicate which India. No. But when we talk about America, United States of America, we know that there is, there are two different parts which are united. Okay, different states which are united. So, this is the reason that we uh, call it the United States of America. And similarly, uh, you can also say that uh, the countries which are carrying states with them, which are carrying kingdom with them, which are carrying federation with them, these are the countries which are not only one, they are, they have occupied some other uh, land also. So we need to specifically indicate. Okay, so in such cases we use the before the names of countries also. It's clear now? Okay. Next is names of persons. The Raju, the Sita. No. Okay. We do not use. Names of streets. No. We do not use the before the names of streets also. We do not use the before uh, names of days also. The Monday, the Tuesday. No. No. Not at all. Okay. Names of months also. Months of the year. They also do not carry articles with them. Clear? Similarly, if I say, like, uh, um, if I say uh, countries, what can be used um, with the names of cities and uh, towns? No. We do not use the with the names of towns also. 
So we do not use the before these proper nouns. Okay. Next point. Uh, we do not use uh, article, any article. We do not use any article with the names of material nouns. So, no article is used with material nouns. You know, what are the material nouns? Uh, gold, silver, milk, the substances with which the other things can be made. Gold, silver, wood, milk, the milk. No. Our milk? Not at all. Because it's uncountable. That is also the reason. The gold? A gold? No. We do not use any article with these material nouns also. Right? Gold, wood, silver, cement. We do not use. Okay? Uh, next is the category like no article is used with abstract nouns also. We do not use any article with abstract nouns. You know what are the abstract nouns? Yes, abstract nouns are the names given to a feeling, given to a feeling or uh, the speciality of something, right? So we do not use uh, no, any article like a, a honesty. A childhood, the childhood. No, we do not use any article with abstract nouns also. Honesty, no article will be used. Beauty, no article will be used. Childhood, no article will be used. Okay? But keep one thing in mind, whenever we talk about anything which is indicated specifically, we use definite article, the before that, that I have already told you. Clear? So you have to keep this thing in mind that you don't use any article immediately with these things. You don't have to use any article with them. Okay, and keep the uh, previous things also, like where to use a, an, and the. Clear? So that way, you'll be getting good marks, you'll be getting 100% marks in your English grammar, if you are going to keep all these points in your mind. Okay, so let's practice. So children, it's time to practice. Whatever we have learned about articles. With the help of these sentences, we will recall. We'll be recalling whatever we have learned. Let us see the first sentence. Gold is precious metal. What to write? Gold is a precious metal. So this is the reason that we have not put anything before it. As I told you, we do not use any article before the material nouns. Next sentence. He returned home after what to write? We will be putting he returned home after this word is our beginning with which is a consonant. But we have to focus on their 
beginning sound and the beginning sound is R. Okay, so we'll be putting and before it. He returned home after an hour. Why an hour? Because this word is beginning with a vowel sound. Next, honesty is dash best policy. Best, good, better, best. Superlative degree of adjective. And we know that we have to put the with superlatives. Next, this is dash best book for learning grammar. Again, good, better, best. And superlative always carry the with it. The best, the best book. Okay. Next sentence dash university will open in this village soon. The noun before which we have to put article is university. University is beginning with U, which is a vowel. And we uh, always put and before vowel. No, we put and before the words which are beginning with vowel sound. But this word is beginning with vowel, but is not having the sound of any vowel. Okay, so we'll be putting and, sorry, we'll be putting a before it. Okay, now next, R revolves around sun. This one is very clear because this is sun is unique object in the world. We will be putting the the sun, the moon, the stars, the sky. Okay. And earth is also a unique object in this universe. So we will be putting the before earth. Okay. Next is Ashoka was dash wisest king of his time. Wise, wiser, wisest. Superlative again. What to put? The. Ashoka was the wisest king of his time. Next, wisdom is dash gift of heaven. So wisdom Wisdom is dash gift of heaven. So wisdom is the gift of heaven. Okay. Next is Bhagavad Gita is dash holy book of Hindus. So there are two uh, places where we have to put articles. First place is before the noun, which is Bhagavad Gita, which is epic book. Right? It's an epic book. So we will be putting the before it. And here is, is a holy book because there are a number of holy books. Okay, so one of them is this special one, Bhagavad Gita. So is a, this is a, okay, a, only book of Hindus. I met dash old friend of mine yesterday. I met, o is adjective which is a, uh, Connected, which is describing the noun friend here. So we put article before the 
adjective, right? So here we will be putting uh, article before the adjective. Why? Because it is connected to this noun. This adjective is connected to this noun because of uh, it's because of explaining this, right? So we'll be putting an because o is a vowel and o l d old when we pronounce this o sound is also of a vowel so we'll be putting an. Now children, I think after uh, practicing these all sentences, you must be feeling very confident for your exams. Purpose of learning these uh, articles is not just to get good marks in your exams. It's also to uh, use the correct article in uh, while speaking also. I hope all my children are going to use correct article at the time of speaking as well as will be benefited with very good marks in your exams as well. Thank you.